video, my friend Kat and I are going to talk about the crazy Chinese mother-in-law. What's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I am here together with my friend Catherine. Hello everyone. My name is Catherine. I'm 25 and I live here in Beijing together with my Chinese boyfriend. And yeah. today we are going to talk about AMWF relationships. What was that again? Asian male, Western female. Yay! <laughs> In today's video, we are going to talk about something I've been reading online. So for a long time, I've been following this girl called Lina, not Lena, but Lina from <laughs> Poland, who married a Hong Kong guy a long time ago, and then she is writing a blog that's called My Hong Kong Husband. You can see the link below. And on her blog, she is quite often talking about Mom Silla which is her Chinese mother-in-law. I found one blog post I was reading quite a while ago and I shared this and I'm going to share it with you guys. So one thing that Lena is saying in this blog post is I really love my mother-in-law but for any girl dating Asian guys, especially Chinese, they need to be aware that once it gets serious, your lovely mummy is changing into tiger mother-in-law. <laughs> So in today's video we are going to give a little bit of advice on how to tackle or deal with a Chinese mother-in-law. And also I think we're going to talk a little bit about the stereotype as well and mm -hmm. our own experience of course. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So let us start with the first meeting between you and your new Chinese family. The thing is that when you're dating a Chinese guy, if he decides to bring you back home, mm -hmm. it's serious. Yes. Okay, he doesn't bring you to his parents' place just for a chill evening and a cup of tea. No. Mm -hmm. If he decides to take you back home, then you have to know that he means it, like yeah. he is ready to marry. Exactly. It probably means marriage at it, this point. It literally yeah. does. If you guys haven't talked about it yet and he decides to bring you back home, mm. then you should prepare yourself for the next big step in your relationship, mm -hmm. for sure. I know in Western countries it's normal that you meet the parents way earlier in the relationship mm -hmm. and you have kind of this casual relationship, mm -hmm. yeah. this is my, my son's girlfriend or my daughter's boyfriend, um, and then you can break it off at any point. And it's fine. It's fine, yeah. but it's not that way in China. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So today we're going to talk a little bit about this like relationship with your mother-in-law or like mm -hmm, future mm -hmm. mother-in-law or your boyfriend's mother. Of course, he usually also has a dad, but I think the mother is a little more interesting because I feel like the Chinese mother-in-law, she is, it's, it's a bit of a, just an interesting talk. Let's, uh, yeah. let's just say that. Okay. So I think when you first meet your Chinese boyfriend's parents, yeah. they try to make a good impression and you sure. do as well. So you want to, you want them to like you, uh, you want to please, right? Bring a lot of presents. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bring a lot of like food or fruit or tea or whatever you can find because yeah. it's so important. Like do not come empty handed. That would be and so don't important. buy cheap stuff, buy the best stuff you can yeah. find. Yeah. <laughs> like upmarket, high end sure. presents. For me, as a Danish person, I think if I was to go and meet the parents, the in-laws, then I would bring some Something from Denmark, like high quality Danish product, mm -hmm. to be like, oh, this is very exciting, or like, ooh, the best of the best, you know, and you can brag a little bit about that. I think that works pretty well. <laughs> yeah, but starting from there. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think it's normal that at first you, you know, want to be friendly and mm. You also maybe, you know, you want to adapt to the way they eat, the way they talk, you don't want to make any mistakes. Yeah. But further down in the relationship, <laughs> it's a different story. And I feel yeah. that it's important that if you want to stay yourself, don't over adapt and don't be too polite, but mm. you know, 
Say what you want and mark your borders. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. As a very picky person, that's a problem for me if I... Like, okay, so I'm thinking back to like 2012, I was seeing a guy and we went to his hometown and his parents were nearby, so we went to see them and they had, you know, they were cooking for us every day and I wanted, I did not want to eat noodles for breakfast. I just did not want to. I had to refuse because uh, even though I said no every day for three days, like my boyfriend, he said, at that time boyfriend, he said to me, you have to just keep saying no because mm -hmm. else they will just continue doing it. So if I had said yes the first time just to be polite, then I would still be eating noodles in the morning to, mm -hmm. to this day. Because yeah, you have to be you know, polite but still set your boundaries because mm -hmm. it is, you're in an intercultural relationship so these, especially if the parents are from the Chinese countryside or also they're just from another, they're another age, you know. So they're thinking in a different way yes. and a lot mm -hmm. of them haven't been abroad before so it's just a, it's a little more tricky, mm -hmm. yeah. But I think that's a very good piece of advice, dare to say no. Yeah, and re repeat it. <laughs> because okay. your Chinese mother-in-law is probably gonna insist yeah. as well, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> For instance, with, with my um, boyfriend's mom, when we leave her place and go back to our apartment, mm -hmm. she always wants to give us loads of fruit and food <laughs> and basically the whole household she wants to <laughs> give us on the way. She's and we loading the truck. <laughs> yeah, and exactly, all the time. And. <laughs> You know, we don't have space and we also, you know, we don't eat. cook with the same ingredients as oh. she does. We don't eat <laughs> 10 apples a day, so <laughs> I started to really say no, we don't have space, I don't want to take it. Thank you, but no. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, mm -hmm. keep keep going like that and then, okay, so we if we move on to the next step, let's say mm -hmm. you just got married to, uh, to, to this Chinese guy and the parents live in the same city as you. What's gonna happen after marriage? Trouble. <laughs> Trouble big time. Trouble now, big time. what I heard a lot is that Chinese in-laws are gonna show their real face after mm. once you married uh, their son and again once you have kids. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we just want to point out that of course not everyone's the same. There are a lot of different people here and China is a huge country but we have heard a lot of stories about this where the mm -hmm. parents, the in-laws, they literally move in. Like when you have a baby, especially when you're having a baby, they move in. Like mm -hmm. the mother, uh, sorry, the mother she moves in and then she's gonna control from there and then you have to be very specific on like what you want and what you don't want because exactly. mm -hmm. it's or else it's going to be really tricky and mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. problem is also that it depends on your your husband as well your Chinese husband if he is like a pleaser or if he's used to mommy saying something and then you do it or if he's going to be on your side like he's going to be stuck between the two of you and two different cultures and two different ways of thinking mm -hmm. so you really have to choose what fights you're going to take and what fights you're going to just be like okay whatever leave it you know if you want to do it like this you should just do it like that mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Okay, so. and I think <clears throat> my advice would be that you really think about what you want, what you don't want, yeah. what kind of life you want to lead, how you want to educate your kids and when you know what you want you can communicate it but often if you're not too sure about what you want <laughs> and then your in-laws or your mother-in-law she's gonna have an idea you know and yeah. she's gonna tell you how to do it and what's the best way. She will decide. Yes so you stay firm, be confident and otherwise you, you're gonna be pushed around quite a bit, yeah, yeah in my experience. <laughs> yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I've heard too. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we're just, we're not saying that it might turn into a nightmare, we're just saying that there are a lot of cultural things here there are. Mm -hmm. going on in this yeah. kind of relationship. And I, I honestly underestimated this a lot. <laughs> so during my first two or three years when I was together with my boyfriend, I always thought, oh, my relationship is perfect with my future in-laws. So easy. Yeah, yeah they love me, love. I love them, <laughs> I love the food they do, oh, we just have so much in common, we're friendly, you know. 
But this was because I was only here on vacation and I mm. see them, you know, occasionally. <laughs> but now we moved here to Beijing and mm. there's a yeah. lot of, you know, things that I, I'm not willing to accept anymore. Mm. And I'm also talking about it openly. So for we instance... We grew up too, I feel like. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I grew, uh, I grew uh, how do you say? I grew older. Yeah, I grew older and wiser and, mm -hmm. and more stubborn as well, I guess. Like, I think we all do that when we get older, we get a little stubborn as well. And they're stubborn and then it's just like... Yeah. <laughs> And I feel, you know, honestly, I feel more uh, at ease when I can just be myself. For instance, when they have this uh, cow intestines for dinner, I'm like, ooh, what are you <laughs> eating? How can you even eat this? And they're like, they're laughing about it, you know. <laughs> but I'm just being more direct and honest. And for yeah. instance, okay, today I'm going home because I want to eat Western food. <laughs> I just say it. Yeah, you know, and yeah. it's fine. No one's gonna take offense if you're just being yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so please make boundaries, but also try to adapt and accept mm -hmm. these this other way of thinking and remember when you feel like okay now I'm just giving up then remember it's just because it's China, you know, it's uh, you'll be fine just take a deep breath and then there will be another day, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. And some things, you know, don't think it's the problem of their parents if they're very insisting and pushy about something. Mm. It's a cultural difference. They yeah. grew up doing it like this. Maybe you just have to accept that you're thinking differently mm. and it's not necessarily a bad thing. They're doing it their way, you're doing it your way. Yeah. 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 And uh, the phrase or the sentence I often use with my mother in law is Bu guan. <laughs> yeah. or Bie guan. Uh, yeah. 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 Like, because I don't uh, uh, like her to manage everything, so mm. I just tell her. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, just leave it to me. Just leave it to <laughs> me, yeah, it's a very good one. Okay, yeah, so that was <laughs> all for uh, this video today. I hope that you guys liked our advice on AMWF relationships. Remember, if you have any experience on, experience on your own, just uh, let us know in the comments below, you know, share with everyone. I really love that you guys are so excited about discussing this topic and both of us are looking at the comments. It's very interesting. Also, mm -hmm. if you do have a question, for these kind of relationships, then please send me an email on info at lenaaround.com. Mm -hmm. It's also in the description box below. So yeah, until next time, Ling Ling and Katrin is out. See ya and 再见! Bye bye! Bye bye! <laughs>